Hello and welcome to Freya's Tropical Garden. This is another opportunity to see my video on the plant app review from episode 4. I've downloaded 9 apps for my Android device on Google Play and I'll be testing their abilities to identify different plants. And if you want more information on the methods that I've used, I'll put them in the description. But firstly, I had to discount iNaturalist from this because it wasn't actually a plant identification app. Instead, when I scanned my plant, it was giving me the option to add it as an observation. I've shown it here because some people might find that useful. Next, I've reviewed an app called Blossom. This costs £22.99 a year at the time of filming. But I've only used the free trials for all these apps. And unfortunately, in the case of Blossom and the next two that I review, they give you a very limited number of plants that you can try before you buy. So this has meant that I haven't been able to review the app fully. However, I have managed to get enough information, I think, to show you a reasonable comparison. Now, I've actually given this app my lowest score for ease of use because after identifying the plant, it's then taken me through this series of questions, none of which are actually relevant to my outdoor plants as they relate more to indoor plants. So possibly this app might work better for houseplants. But certainly for the three plants that I tried, it only got one right. So for me, this was my least favourite out of the apps. Next up, I reviewed an app called Plant Snap. This also gave me only a limited number of identifications, but this one only cost £9.99 a year at the time of recording. This app required me to take three different pictures of each plant and limited me to five plants on this trial, and it got three out of those five right. And in addition to that, it does actually give you a choice of different plants. So if the first one it comes up with isn't the right plant, it does allow you to choose from some other options that might be more suitable. I have scored these apps based on the first suggestion. So if I had have scored in a different way, then this may have ended up scoring a little higher because it did suggest the correct plant here. And the last app that placed limitations on my ability to review is called Plant App. This one is by far the most expensive at £209.99. However, they claim this is for a lifetime payment rather than every year. I scored it 8 out of 10 for ease of use. However, for accuracy, it would only allow me to test it on two plants and it only got one out of those two correct. Although I did also have to rescan the Tetrapanix because it wasn't fully in the shot. However, it did also get that one wrong as well. So picture this as the first app that I was able to fully review. It is quite pricey at £35.49 a year, but I was able to test this one on 14 different plants. I scored it 8 out of 10 for ease of use. It was the second highest score in terms of accuracy and also included a feature for diagnosing problems with plants. Plant Parent is a very similar app which also has a diagnostic feature. It's slightly cheaper at £28.99 per year, and I scored this 8 out of 10 for ease of use as well. And accuracy-wise, it only scored one point behind Picture This. I also like the fact that it will point out any sick-looking plant at the point of identification. Flora Incognita is the first of the free apps which I've reviewed, and although I really do like the layout of this app, I gave it 6 out of 10 for ease of use, simply because they ask us to identify what kind of plant it is first. There wasn't always a suitable category for every plant that I tested, so I did tend to just stick on the main flower category, which may have affected its accuracy ratings. However, this didn't do too badly, but it did have the lowest accuracy ratings of all the ones I was able to test fully, but only by a very small margin. PlantNet, I have to say, was one of my favourites. This is another free app, and this is the one that scored the highest accuracy rating out of all the apps that I tested. I scored it 7 out of 10 for ease of use. However, that was only down to this next step of having to identify if it was a leaf or a flower, etc. But in addition to scoring most highly on the suggested plant, it also had other suggestions that you could select. And you can see here there are quite a few suggestions you can scroll through. So overall, considering its ease of use and accuracy and the fact that it's free of charge, I did find this one to be the best plant app that I reviewed. However, you may want to consider another one if you're looking for something that can also diagnose problems. And finally, I tested Google Lens, which is something that I know a lot of people will have anyway because it does other functions, not just plant testing. This is again free of charge 
and the accuracy was not too bad on this, scoring only one less than Plant Parent. However, the real advantage of this one is its ease of use, which I scored 10 out of 10. It was very much a point-and-click exercise, where it then scans Google and comes up with suggestions, taking you to Google pages that give you more information about the plant as well. And as you can see with this ginger that I've scored, lower down the search options you can find the correct plant, increasing those accuracy ratings. So, although my personal favourite was PlantNet, I hope this video has given you enough information to be able to make a decision on which app would suit you best. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook or on my website. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you've enjoyed the content.